Hello everyone, you guys are listening to me on an academy online platform. As a lot of options India is trying to generate, the one side has to fulfill the demand of electricity supply and second side try to conserve the environment guys. In this part, one of the news that got popular in the recent past and the topic is the coal gasification and liquefications. This entire topic is connecting with the science and economy. This is lesson number 21 in this entire session on YouTube guys. I am very sure these all the sessions of science and environment based all the evergreen and contemporary issues will be very beneficial to all of you for the coming year of civil service examinations. So we are going here on the lesson number 21 with the coal gasification and liquefaction. What was the current news and how this coal gasification and liquefaction are important for us. So proceed guys. So before going to start I would like to update about myself. My name is Dr. Ravi Gravi. I have done PhD from IIT Delhi and one of the institutions those I am running in the Gorapur as a name of Purvanchal I S. I am taking your classes of science and tech environment. From last 18 years I am taking your civil services classes. Thousand plus selection already happened this exams. Two books are published on the Macra Hill. The one is on science and tech and second is on environment. This is my telegram channel that I will advise to all of you regarding all the PDFs and video links. You all people connect with me on this telegram. My Unacademy profile you can see on the screen unacademy.com oblique at the rate of Ravi P. 2010. This is a platform where you will listen by all the plus classes, even a lot of the free special classes. So better I'll advise to all of you if you want to listen me for the science and tech environment. So stay tuned with me on an Academy profile. So kindly follow me here. My code is Ravi UPSC during joining any courses. If you want to get a fees rebate, fees discount, the Ravi UPSC code is a solution for all of you. It's the best educator platform for UPSC, CSC, all are available at an academy at one place. And there's all the experienced faculties right now taking the classes on an academy in live sessions. So you all guys have a great opportunity to connect on the academy. So an academy store is being opened right now and the address is Jaipur. Regarding this an academy store, if you want to meet with your educators, so kindly register and the link is given below. And this visit was the 9th April and 10th April. So don't forget to register it now. UPSC CSE combat on PYQ specials on the 10th April 2020-22 at 11 a.m. So don't forget to join it guys. 54 questions you must have to do in 60 minutes. And during joining the course, if you are using the Ravi UPSC code, you will get a lot of other benefits. A lot of scholarship you will get in many rewards you will get here. And even I'll advise to all of you for your evaluations about your preparations and all. These PYQs will be very helpful to you for that an academies are coming here. An academy light is a UPSC CSC prelims test series is live to help you guys for upcoming prelims examinations, depth analysis and all, all, all the question paper series everything. So kindly join this test series. A free and comprehensive interviews guidance program for UPSC CSC 2020-21 started and you people know very well this like a 2020-21 means examination already declared. So be fast and don't forget to join this interview sessions that is on the first week of April. It's been started guys. So can you start now? Science and technology based topic that is a coal gasification, liquefaction, the most and most important topic for your in this year examinations. Don't forget it. Even these all the videos those will be uploaded on the YouTube for the all new generations so that coal gasification somehow you people will also be very clear how it is very useful for everyone. Okay. As I told you guys, the one side India have a need of electricity, the second side we want to save environment also. Today if you see the scope, the coal is highly used, not in India and the worldwide for power generations. But whenever we are using the coal gas, it creates massive environmental pollutions. Lot of polluting gases like CO2, SO2, NOx, carbon monoxide, many of the gases emit after burning of coal. And one thing more guys, if you will see about the coal. So coal, one side is creating the massive environmental pollutions. And the other side, if you see the coal, its ignition temperature is also very low. Its ignition temperature is also very low. Ignition temperature is those temperature on which, you know, we are burning a fuel, guys. Okay, even not if you uh, consider about the ignition temperature, I will tell you the one first part, like uh, the coal have a high, uh, even very low calorific value. Coal have a very low calorific value. Calorific value, you know, that is the energy those generate after burning of coal. But you know, the coal in Indian reference, we have not the quality coal. I'm giving you one option why not we are going to convert the coal into through gasification routes and we are generating the methane type of gases, hydrogen type of gases. 
these methane and hydrogen type of gases have a high calorific value high calorific value and whenever these methane and hydrogen type of fuel will burn after coal gasification process they have a highest calorific value and because of it they will create more and more heat or energy okay so in that way it will be good so don't try to burn the coal guys i'm giving you one more options through coal gasification and liquefaction process you generate methane hydrogen type of gases and you burn them as one side the coal has very low calorific value second side that coal based methane and hydrogen have a highest calorific value so in that way you people can generate more and more heat more and more power and second side the methane and hydrogen type of fuels are the environmental friendly so this is the reason coal gasification and liquefaction have a good scope and government have also shown the interest to invest a lot in the coal gasification and liquefaction process so finally what is the coal gasification in this first lesson uh, in the first part i'll try to discuss with you those carbon based raw material those carbon based raw material as i can tell you coal coal is the best example coal within the coal have a lot of carbon guys is a hydrocarbon so we are doing the conversion of carbon carbon into the fuel gas especially you know the gas formation those happen it is a syn gas syn gas means synthetic gas syn gas is what that is a synthetic gas synthetic gas why i am telling you because through the help of artificial processes we are going to generate it it is not available in the nature okay the coal uh, you know what how how the coal gasification process proceed the very simple guys you take a coal put into the high temperature and pressurized container that is the called as a gasifier simply i am telling you the coal you put into the gasifier gasifier is the place where the high temperature and pressure is maintained and combined with the hot steam and the control amount of air and oxygen okay and up to the temperature of 2600 degree fahrenheit in this 2600 degree fahrenheit and around 1200 psig pressure you know this coal is going to convert into synthetic gas if you see the composition of synthetic gas like carbon dioxide hydrogen methane nitrogen carbon monoxide all of the all of the mixtures are there but here i i can tell you guys methane and hydrogen is the best fuel you people can tell me one more statement like sir in the case of coal gasification process carbon dioxide carbon monoxide type of pollution also generated ha but don't worry na those carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide is going to generate it is somewhere in some places so the help of scrubbers we can absorb the carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide so they will not emit in the atmosphere and from the gases all the synthetic gas combination hydrogen and methane we will make it separate and utilize as a fuel so in that way guys coal gasification we can use it now the question is guys what about the benefit of gasifications the one part that transportation of gas is very cheap transportation of gas is cheap. even gas is difficult in some aspect also okay whenever we are going to carry a gas from one place on the place makes some charge of frictions but it is it's 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 you know transportation is a cheap okay in comparison to coal transportations and syn gas is what it's a methane and hydrogen and i'm telling you it's a cleaner guys and that is the reason here the air pollution type of things will reduce a lot of reduce efficiency wise very good guys the power generation wise calorific value efficiency means i'm telling you calorific value calorific value calorific value means just like a 1 gram of fuel burn those heat or energy charge in comparison to coal if you see guys here the methane and hydrogen have a high calorific value okay multiple times is multiple times so the best part is as i'm again telling you guys more heat generations and environmental friendly the both things are there guys and this type of heat those methane and hydrogen based you will generate okay that will be good to run a turbine guys and turbine whenever it start to move so you know very well guys it will generate a mechanical energy okay ultimately what is the source of uh, electricity generation earlier was coal now i'm giving you the option as a methane now i'm giving you option as a hydrogen and the source of methane and hydrogen is what from the coal we are going to change first methane and hydrogen and then we are utilizing the methane and hydrogen for power generations so now the coal is not going to burn firstly coal converted to methane and hydrogen and in this way have a environmental friendly how interesting it is guys one side the coal is available in the nature not good but when first we convert into the methane and hydrogen through coal gasification process we are burning the methane and hydrogen good as a power generation and good as a environmental safety interesting what about the challenges here those coal we plant using it so water contamination is that we must have to clean the coals and all okay so waste water and all of the disposition you know disposing is very difficult in the case of coal gasification process now the question is what about the liquefaction now the question is what about the liquefications liquefaction is the coal to liquid technology liquefaction is coal to liquid technology what is the coal to liquid technology it is the another alternative process guys this is another alternative process actually you know what we are doing 
those gas formation happen those gasification process happen you just see guys those cool gasification process happen in that cases what about the gas formation happen like synthetic gas or not if these synthetic gas again i repeat these synthetic gas if you put at in in the presence of cobalt and iron based catalyst at high pressure and temperature so gas will condense and will become as a liquid again i repeat try to understand through the help of synthetic uh, cool gasification process those syn gas or synthetic gas form you do one thing you just put the synthetic gas in the presence of some catalyst and these catalysts are given here guys cobalt iron based catalyst and, and and maintain a high pressure and temperature inside the container this cool gasification will convert into liquefied liquefied fuels and that is called liquefications but one thing i will tell you guys those liquefied coal form as a coal liquefications here the amount of carbon dioxide and amount of sulfur gas emission is more okay in this aspect coal liquefication is not good coal gasification is good but coal gas liquefication is not much more better as in comparison to coal gasification reason here amount of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide is good in amount but the yeah, calorific value is more better what about the benefit of liquefications okay benefit of liquefication the carbon dioxide emission is more readily and cheaply captured yes the benefit is here carbon dioxide we can generate but carbon dioxide we can capture and the procedure to capture the carbon carbon dioxide is called as a carbon capture and carbon sequestration okay the things are there okay guys that here carbon dioxide formation happened but we can do the carbon sequestrations geo sequestrations geo sequestration means a kind of carbon sink those carbon dioxide is going to generate we can dump it deeply in the ground and this type of sequestration is called geo sequestration don't worry okay the finally those carbon dioxide is going to capture in the liquefaction process that i told you guys the co2 is not safe we are injected into the ground through the help of anthropogenic causes So anthropogenic mode, guys. You know, through the help of human being, in the underground storage reservoirs, there is called carbon capture and storage or geo sequestration, and that is the reason the CO2 level will not come into open atmosphere. It will dump deeply in the rock. That is called as a carbon sink or geo or CO sequestration. But the whole sequestration we are doing in the ground. That's why it is called as geo sequestration. Sequestration means how the carbon is going to absorb. now the statement guys what about the recent updates and for that purpose i just made a coal gasification liquefaction topic for all of you union minister of coal and mines recently addresses a webinar on the coal gasification and liquefactions and what about their intention guys what about their aims and targets for that purpose they have ready to invest a 4 lakh crore rupees by 2030 by 2030 guys 100 million tons again i repeat 100 million tons coal gasification process coal gasification is the target of india by 2030 And I'm pretty guys. It is a it 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 is a great target for India. By 2030, around 100 million tons coal gasification will be successful. And see the investment of government of India is how much? Union Union Minister of Coal and Mines report four lakh crore. Okay, and even here the government is providing the concessions. Concession even revenue share to the coal based gasification process. 20%. If anybody have interested for coal gasification at all, the government is giving the support of 20% revenue sharings. and finally in that all the processes guys what is the benefit of course synthetic natural gases energy fuel even a part of this in this whole process you know fertilizers and other chemical productions also happen so finally because of this government initiative fertilizer other chemical production a part of the natural gases will boost up in india definitely it will boost up in india so it was an entire discussion of coal gasification liquefaction and i hope this entire video will be helpful to you guys My Telegram channel is on t dot m e oblique ravi upsc underscore in academy where all the PDF are available. So I'll suggest to all of you regarding the PDF, you people stay tuned with me. A part of all the video link I also share here, guys. My in academy profile is on academy dot com oblique at the rate of ravi p a grade two zero one zero. Here people can connect with my plus and iconic subscriptions. A part of the free special classes I also take here, guys. And so kindly follow me here. That is the best for all of you to connect with me. My code is Ravi UPSC during joining any course if you are using it, so you will get extra ten percent fees rebate. This is the best subscription for all of you guys here. One of the mentorship you will get it. The support of mentorship is here. So every moment of time, a mentorship will be ready for you, even in your live sessions. The only main question as a practice is the mentor will help you. In the study planning, how to do, what to do. Even in the here, you will get the iconic subscription as an opportunity to talk to your educators also, guys. the plus subscriptions and iconic subscriptions the prices are here that you can understand not only for the general studies even even if you are interested for optional courses so ravi upsc code if you are using the extra 10% discount in your entire fees you will get it so get started 0% emi today and academy is providing you 
and there's a loan facility regarding anybody have a financial problems so you can join a loan uh, as zero percent EMI so it's a great opportunity to all of you the course of science and environment is running right now on the plus courses the one session of science and technology is completed and the environment is running right now so to stay connect with me guys for science and technology environment you can connect with me on the plus UPSC CSE batches going to start from 6th April as in bilingual and English medium so for one year batches here all the contents notes materials you will get it into 20 GS booklets and if you have a IAS as dream guys so you connect with the Academy have a beautiful response with all the uh, listeners and that you can see on the ranking on the screen and how we are different with other one we are providing the printed comprehensive notes many question practices MCQs live mentorships and thank you guys in the last thanks for giving me attention and I'm very sure in the coming video some new topics I'll make to all of you with the current and never giving topics that will really very beneficial to all English majors aspirants as you are getting a very less content on YouTube's so here I'm connecting with all of you regarding the English medium classes thank you everyone God bless you